Hi everyone, here's Jack the Darby Yoshi back in action with a new Mario Kart Tour video. Today I'm going to show you how to non-stop combo in week 2 of the New Year's 2022 Tour. And before we get started, I would like to give a shout out to my new subscribers, including Leo Gaming YT. Thank you so much for subscribing, I hope you enjoy more content in this channel. So to start, we have Remix Rainbow Road 2. So, as usual, go for the rocket start, otherwise you won't get a non-stop combo. And I would like to prepare for a mini turbo once you jump off that ramp. And you want to get these three coins right here. And if you have an item like a green shell, you can throw it at the Katamatsu there. But for now, using the mushroom early to so try and get up ahead without crashing into the items. Now, in case if you did happen to crash there, uh, release the item quickly and make the driver behind you crash. And start that drift as you're bouncing off the mushroom towards the dash panel, and you can get two, um, at least uh, two coins uh, from the, the dash panel there. And release right about here, and with the star thwomps, they'll cause uh, the rainbow road to wave, so you want to catch the waves, you know, just like in surfing. You know, as they say, surfs up. <laughs> Anyway, just um, drift till you get that mini turbo around the corner and just bounce off these mushrooms here. And you can get the I you can get the drivers uh, in front of you uh, with the up a bomb, just like that. That's quite an explosion. And I would go for those three coins right there, but that would um, take a little too much time, and the drivers can uh, definitely pass you there. So I would just um, go with the mini turbo instead, and pull, I would like to pull up a bit to be able to to get a little extra distance. And and I and as you saw, I just um, scorched uh, Cat Rosalina with the fire flower. So on this final lap, after you get the coins here, here comes the coin frenzy, and you want to hold that drift uh, when you get to this uh, mushroom here. And you want to alternate to the right, so you can hold on to that uh, mini turbo until you get right about here and just bounce off the mushroom and start that mini turbo right here and quickly release uh, without crashing into the item right there. And once you get around the corner, release that mini turbo and catch that wave uh, like you're surfing in Hawaii or wherever they have the good waves. And at the same time, avoiding the star thwomps, um, one, um, you know, crashing into them, and two, um, getting flattened like a pancake. So, bouncing off these four mushrooms here, the, once you bounce off the last one here, start that drift uh, on the right side. Go from right to left as you get these coins and the dash panel. And you want to hang on to the item until the end, in case if someone tries to make you crash from behind, say with um, a red shell. And just pull up as you get to these coins, watch out for that star thwomp. And when you touch down here, that is the non-stop combo on Rainbow Remix Rainbow Road 2. The next course is going to be Choco Mountain Reverse Trick. So this one's going to be um, just as easy as Rainbow Road. Now the thing is here is that... You'll want to start drifting over as you're making a jump off the hill and then the ramp. And you want to hold that mini turbo until you get over to these three coins here. And if you miss uh, one of them, it's okay. Just release the mini turbo and start another one before you approach this ramp. And when you come around the mountain, you know, kind of, they'll be coming around the mountain when they come. But anyway, <laughs> so... <laughs> After uh, jumping off the ramps, let go of that mini turbo right about here as you get close. And as you jump off, you'll come across this windy ramp. You want to hold that mini turbo right here until you get to this particular ramp right about here. That way you can release it right here. And when you jump off the last ramp, collect as many of those coins as you can and start that mini turbo while you release the item. And you get that coin right there and then head over towards this ramp right here to get this coin and as you jump off that ramp you can also um, start that main turbo right here now it's optional but you can take the two ramps with the coins on the side uh, 
instead of taking the high ramp. But anyway, so on this particular ramp, you want to get these two coins here, and you want to release that main turbo here before you jump off this uh, ramp. And after this one, you'll want to start a main turbo here, release, and I. You could go for um, an extra mini turbo before you go for the final lap, but I recommend you wait until the end. So, once again, after you jump off that ramp, you'll want to collect these three coins if you can. And if you don't get it, it's okay. Uh, just uh, keep going. And you'll want to release uh, the mini turbo here, and you'll want to watch out for the falling boulders. So, Depending on what place you are, uh, you need to be really careful about uh, those boulders because they can uh, make you crash if you're in a, a particular spot uh, on the course. So back on this winding ramp here, you'll want to hold that mini turbo until you get to the second to last ramp right here. And once again, um, get as many coins as you can and hold on to the item if you see the red shell coming at you because that would um, save you from dropping a combo now if it hits um, another item that you dropped before duh, that'll also work too alright so out of this mine and starting that mini turbo up this first ramp here and once again holding on to the item and you wanna catch these coins here and release that mini turbo before you jump off that ramp now you could um, bypass the ramp if you want but I recommend going for the high ramps and if you get hit by a lightning quickly do uh, a couple of mini turbos and just go straight uh, if you're the, um, if you're shrunken that small so that would be the best way to get a non-stop combo on Choco Mountain Reverse Trick and the last course is 3DS Bowser's Castle Trick so this one is a little trickier so if you're in um, one of the, um, the last places, uh, you can do an extra mini turbo if you want. Um, the, you don't, it's, it's optional, but anyway. So you want to get these, get the ramp right here as as you get the item box on the second ramp. And once you touch down right here, you'll want to start that drift. And if you have a mega mushroom, you can use it um, before you get to the stairwell because it's a little tougher to get the... Um, a mini turbo off the stairwell and you'll also want to if you miss this ramp right here well if you're in mega mode uh, you can still catch that ramp but if not and uh, if you miss the ramp uh, just go for the mini turbo so on top of this um, barrel here um, just um, just drive forward and start that mini turbo as you make that jump now if you're too far to the side, uh, you can try again when you touch down before the next jump. And pass that lava, you'll want to start that mini turbo along with releasing that banana. Release right here and then start, well, you can start another mini turbo uh, before you reach that one jump. So right here, uh, you'll want to start that mini turbo before you go higher up around um, that loop there and release the item. And make that release that mini turbo and release that ba bomb in order to make the drivers crash behind you. And hang on to the banana for for the incoming red shell here. Now on the final lap, we go up here in this uh, rotating barrel. And if you're not able to get the three coins, um, just go straight off the ramp or off the barrel, and then get these two coins right here and watch out for that thwomp. You don't want to get flattened like a pancake. And you can do a mini turbo if you can right here but before you get to that little jump ramp and when you get to that dash ramp uh, you want to jump off here start that mini turbo and release that banana but before you start that mini turbo right here and watch out for that lava as it rises and uh, descends and you can use the mushroom to be able to go faster to maintain the combo now if you get hit by the the red shell which um, if, if you get that mushroom you can use it quickly and just go straight and hang on to those bananas uh, until right now and 
I would recommend um, hanging on to the item, um, say a banana, until you reach right about at this point uh, to release it. Now, you do need to be careful with um, the bananas that are on the course. Um, there's a possibility that you can crash and possibly drop the combo. But anyway, so off these two jump ramps and then a mini turbo um, to the, um, the, the loop ramp. You release that mushroom and the item just in case, release that mini turbo and release that mushroom and just go across on the dash panel and the gliding ramp and the rest is history. Non-stop combo on 3DS Bowser's Castle Trick. Please let me know in the comment box below if you have any further questions um, about the cup and please don't forget to lick the like button that will help the channel reach out to more people and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.